As numbers of confirmed cases just continue to rise here now every day, the big question that everybody keeps asking is how prepared are we? Let's switch to our Jacqueline Abad. She is live now with a look at the action plan that Oregon health officials just put into place. Jacqueline. Well, Jennifer, the Oregon Health Authority released three scenarios of what could happen. They say if we go back to normal, if we lift social distancing, we could see 50, 15 thousand people infected by COVID-19 by May 8th. So the state came up with an action plan first to get and distribute critical medical supplies like personal protective equipment. Next, optimize hospital capacity, then mobilize the healthcare workforce and maintain a unified response. Now we're told today that Oregon's hospital bed capacity is inadequate to accommodate the volume of COVID-19 patients who may need hospital care. And for those on the front lines, they're being told to consume serve their personal protective equipment or PPE. Medical supplies and equipment, including personal protective equipment, COVID-19 collection kits and testing kits are already constrained and negatively impact the healthcare system's ability to respond to this crisis. These projections tell us that the sacrifices Oregonians are making right now can help to save lives. At the same time, they paint a dark picture of what could happen if we don't all work together. In Oregon, we have 362 ICU beds, more than 2,000 non-ICU beds, and more than 600 ventilators. Now, the state purchased 500,000 surgical masks, and they received 200 units of masks and gowns in donations. Now, the next step is really to get those out to those who need it. Now, another projection shows that if we maintain aggressive actions made by Governor Brown, we could see a significant decrease, about 1,000 people infected by COVID-19 by May 8th. Reporting live in downtown, Jacqueline Abad, Point Six News. Well, down